Hey, didn't see you there. Today, we gotta do an entire episode on Arijana. It's because it's the best drink in the world. I might be brainwashed by this orange juice because it's got so much sugar. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony, the soy sauce assassin. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm very low up in sugar right now because I don't have enough sugar. So I bought one of these. Arjana, I don't know if you guys ever tried these. These are uh, super loaded with sugar. This small bottle has 49 grams of sugar. This is like twice as much as an average can of Coke because it's all sugar. <clears throat> so what do we got today? We are going to have... Uh, Criticize session against this Padron. This is the TAA Padron, uh, 2019 number 89. All right, uh, I just bought these. Uh, they they show up not a couple days ago, and I'll tell you exactly why I don't like Padron while smoking this. Even though this blend is something that I probably would like because it's uh, it's binder, wrapper, filler. It's all Nicaraguan, so it's something I like. You know, but well, we, and also we'll give away a Cuban later today. So. <clears throat> so we have Chris, hey Chris, Martin, Damon Jones, uh, Matthew Jocelyn, and we have uh, Brian, and we have Shamil Shade, and Raphael. What is going on, guys? So, don't know how many people's got to make it, but you know. Nice, good time, good time, man. So, um, start with this. Uh, let's start with this. Hit the like button. <laughs> Hit the like button uh, while I get this started. And I want to show you guys uh, about this cigar and talk about this cigar And uh, as people get in today. So I'm going to open this. Right away when I pick up this uh, cigar right from the box, I already know there's something wrong with it. Inconsistency and quality, quality assurance is just not there. It's just not there. Okay, The leaf, oily, beautiful, very nice. Uh, hey, Evan. <clears throat> and hey Joseph hey Travis if you just came in make sure to uh, hit the like button first and you can already see this leaf is not sitting correctly there's a lift right here it's just you know quality assurance man but you know it, the leaf looks great the leaves look great and it looks very toothy and if you know what toothy is toothy just means it's bumpy on top on the surface so it's very toothy and very very oily this is a very very oily leaf so <clears throat> i'm looking forward to smoke this cigar it is a padron and I, I, like i told you guys i usually don't buy padrones but you know my salesperson told me to buy it so i did but if i show you guys this close up you will see what i'm talking about when it comes to uh quality issues and stuff like that so i'm gonna pull up the, the close-up camera and i'm gonna show it to you guys you see this if you just see the wrapper right on here when it wrap, see that? You see that bump? You see that bump? It just lift. It just lifts. See that? There's a not really close. See this? See over like here? It's just not nicely wrapped over. You see that bump? So I think later when I smoke it, it's just gonna open up. It's gonna open up. But you know. Just one of the things I have with uh, basically quality issues and it happened to me a lot when it comes to Padron because I don't know if the leaf they use or the way they, they wrap things. This is so oily. I'm getting oil on my hand. <clears throat> so, you know, that's the thing. Hey, hey, Jay Cricket. So, and today I already have two cigars this morning. This one, my third one today. And this better be good because I'm going out of my way to smoke the third one. Again, this is the Padron, number 89, TAA. Uh, and if you don't know what TNA is, I think it's called uh, like Tobacconist Something Association. And, and, and uh, basically, they're just a group of to, uh, you know, to tobacco companies. And then once in a while, they'll release some limited edition just for TAA companies that's uh, inside their, um, their group of t you know, members. So you'll have to buy from that. 
and this you know, Davidoff is one of those companies, so they were able to get Pajones. So yeah, I slide it up, cut it up, and smoke it. <coughs> so I know it's late, and I know um, you know Blue Collar already talked about he had a my father's. What are you guys smoking? I hope you guys are smoking something really good right now because I'm about to smoke this. It's like a celebration. <coughs> Because this is so oily, and they get crunchy, so I'm just gonna use S cut. See, they get crunchy. Hey, Matt. Oh, sweet. Cherry sweet. All right, loose draw. Light it up. I have the heater on, so I just gotta try to screw out with my lighting. Ooh! CNA earlier, okay. And let's see. Uh, Black Market Esteli. Oh no, you have fever? <laughs> Late hours, yeah man. Ooh, a lot of pepper. A little bit of sweetness. Some sort of coffee. Hey Ruben, for those people that just joined, make sure to hit the like button first. Gotta draw stuff today, so. <clears throat> Man over fired up, has been sick for two weeks, and finally be able to taste and smell it. Great! Congrats, Brian. Man, feel better, Joseph. <laughs> Damon's sickness went away, went to Joseph, man. <laughs> so, yeah, it's what you expect for Nicaraguan. It's like espresso. A little bit of cocoa, a lot of pepper uh, in the beginning, and, and some sort of sweet notes in there. It's good. I mean, I can't complain about Perjone because Perjone does have, have a lot of taste. It does have a lot of taste. It's just the, 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 the look is not pleasing to me all the time, so. So, where's the like button you're speaking of? Come on, it's YouTube. YouTube has a like button. You know, like and subscribe, like button. I, I, it depends what you're using right now. I, I'm not sure what you're using, but usually it is there somewhere below the video. Gotta load up in sugar, because I'm low on sugar. Hey, D Gordo, what's going on, man? <sighs> ah, okay, okay. Too cold, you're driving. That's okay, Martin. I, I, I get it. You know, I always need uh, some excuse not to smoke, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> man, our, our, our official panda is here. Hmm. So a few things. Hey, Sherry. Number one, uh, I ordered the magic uh, toast, uh, and it's not gonna get here for at least a week because they ran out. Some people bought a lot on their own, and when I order it, they don't have enough. So we'll get fresh boxes. They'll be fresh box from Cigars Daily and that's one. Number two, uh, the short run came out and it's super affordable. The short run is super affordable and I, I, I bought a box yesterday and I bought a box another box again today so literally I have two boxes here um, because I just don't want to miss it. I just, I just want stuff like that. So yeah, 
either I'll do a giveaway. So if you guys missed it, couldn't find one or something like that, I'll you know I'll have something to to be able to help out on that. And that note, um, I was gonna talk about a post lens post. Uh, lens actually say you know this uh, you know this group is becoming something really nice and it's great. And I made a, a comment right under there. So I said one day this this group is gonna be like you know most exclusive group in the world, maybe. And you know when I say that, I actually really thought you know maybe we're not be we're not we're not gonna strive for being the biggest group in the world. But I wanna you know eventually in the future, our group will be the most exclusive, private VIP group in the world. That would be nice. That's that's something I'm I'm working. I want to strive towards uh, and do that. And as regards to the logos, we're still working on it. I'm still working on it. The, uh, I guess the designer is trying to figure out what he's got to do with those logos because like, I'm asking for a lot. I want something that we can be proud of. And don't think that you, you don't think of it that this logo is going to replace our logo. Our logo is great. We've got to keep this logo. That is just basically a motto, a, 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 a badge for us to wear on the side, you know, for example, if you had a polo, you have this logo here, right? But that patch will be on the side, that kind of thing. You know, it's completely different than what we have. And then it's, it's just, you know, our motto, our language, our, our belief on that badge. And then uh, obviously that one will be easier to sew. So we'll be making it to hat and stuff like that. It'll be much easier. And that's the design language I wanted to have on that particular one. So that will take a while. But you know, when it come out, hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. And you guys will see it every single way. You know, every draft that they, they give me, I'll show it to you guys. So, you know, that that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. And um, you know, it's gotta be something I feel is cool and all that stuff. And in regards to that, I actually talked to a few friends about you know what I want to do with those logo and stuff like that. You know. And basically, that logo is what we gotta use for for the for the packaging or something like that for the cigar that I wanna give away. And believe it or not, <clears throat> you know, he gave me a good solution to what to do with the cigars and all that stuff. We talk about the wrapping. We talk about um, just get the cigar. And what you what's limited about this is actually the packaging, right? So I'm just gonna work away at packaging. He came he came up with a, a few idea. He said well, number one. I can just print over the packaging and then wrap it up like um, like the Ezra uh, Zion wrapping. Number two, I could print a band. And number three is actually the coolest. Number three is the coolest way. He said, go get a little tiny like brand and just brand over the cigar. Just literally burn the surface of the cigar near the foot. And it will look pretty cool because it will be there on it. But... The problem is that if you do it on a dark cigar, it's not gonna really show. If you gotta do it, you gotta do it on a light cigar. So that's the problem. What? Uh, I even had a Felix Asseling cigar before. I never heard of it. Local Cabernet will come. I never heard of it. Uh, right. Uh, that's not how many. Mem it's not about how many. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know if that's <laughs> with the ads on it. Quality over quantity. That's exactly it. And I, I feel like I'm already really busy at, at 119 members. So yeah, that that that's gotta do that. So yeah, I need to figure out what to do with the with the cigar that we're gonna make it. So eventually, I had to decide what to do with that. But here's a few things that he he recommended to me uh, is to. The first batch of 20 limited edition cigars is gonna go to you guys who are watching. Basically, my uh, my video has average of 20 people watching all the time. And first batch of 20 goes to the 20 people that always watch my show. So you guys, the 20 people, uh, well 21 right now, uh, is going to receive those limited edition SSL cigars. Uh, no charge just basically uh something to thank you guys for being in the group uh you guys are the core of the group you guys is what drive me to do everything so uh when i make it i'm just gonna send you guys <clears throat> no fighting needed because you know it's easy to tell which 20 that's always here so 
uh, you know, I'll be able to pull up the list and then just find them. Uh, send you one of them, Tony, for the Erza trade. Right? So that's that. And another thing I talked about with my wife, and I want to go through you guys to see if you, if you guys like the idea. Uh, in order to raise money for the, the group to make, you know, obviously things, uh, my wife would suggest me to do raffle on lucky bags. I don't know if you guys want to know what lucky bag is. So uh, basically it's a bag, and I just toss cigars in there, random cigars, and uh, you guys can buy a raffle ticket, $2 a piece, you can buy as many as you want and what happened this is what's gonna happen is that uh, for me to pick a Cuban cigar in there and I just gotta hand the bag to my wife and tell my wife to throw a few cigars in there she know nothing about cigars so she could pick good ones or she can pick bad ones and every time she would just randomly toss it in there and that way we'll raise money for the group to make stuff what do you guys think So either way, there's got to be a Cuban in there. But the rest of the cigar could be good, could be bad, could be rare, could be not. It's just my wife's just got to grab whatever and toss it in there. I'm not even going to look at it. She might toss three, she might toss four. I don't know how many she's got to put in there. But it'll be random. $2 a piece. Is that something that you guys are willing to play? Uh, if not, then, you know, that kind of no point, but you know, if people want to, to do that kind of stuff, then yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> and basically how we got to draw is the same way as we got to draw for the price for this. But here's a different part of it is that when you guys pay for the tickets, I will assign you a number, right? first come first serve assign your number and the number will be random I have I have a sheet of like number 100 and then I just put your name on each number uh, randomly and that way uh, on the show we can call a number the winner of the lucky bag is <laughs> so I think that's a good way to win some good cigars and not cost you a lot of money So, yeah, if you guys are good with that, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll make a goodie bag, and then I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you guys. You guys can start buying the tickets, and then, you know, we'll run the, run the raffle once uh, once we hit enough. I want, you know, whatever amount of ticket is. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know I, I tend to want to do things that I think I will play. So I don't want to do things that I wouldn't even play myself. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so Evan, in your case, how many tickets do you think I should limit per person to be fair for you? <sighs> how many tickets do you think I should limit to be, to be fair for you? I mean, if you guys can give me a number, how many you think will be fair, then, you know, we can go with that. Okay, we have three to five, we have five or ten. I think ten is way too much because then you'll go way over that number. You'll say five, three to five. With Chris, three to uh, five to ten. I think. I see a lot of fives, so let's do five. Five max. Of anybody who's buying it, you can only have five tickets per person. You think that's fair? Yeah, 
I see fives. So five sounds good. I don't think everybody's gonna buy five, you know. I I, I was expecting everybody to just buy one, to be honest. Yeah, we can keep it reasonable and, and basically <clears throat> what we can do is if we have a lot of ticket, what I wanted to do is first place we'll get the bag, second place we'll get a random cigar my wife just choose. Doesn't matter what she chooses, okay? You guys will have to go with whatever she chooses. Whatever she chooses. So we'll have first place and second place if we have enough tickets to cover for it. So yeah, max ten dollar buy in. If I have a lot of tickets, you know, let's say if you have all right, let's say if we have 100 tickets, then I have to draw a second place just to be fair. Uh, let's say I have 50 tickets, I'll probably draw, I'll probably do it just even my 50 tickets just to give away a cigar. I don't know, we can do that too. 50 tickets will draw a second place, we'll see what happens. I honestly wouldn't know how much it will cost for the cigars because I, I told my wife to choose. She can grab a Padron and throw in there. She can buy two Padron and throw in there. She can get Opus X and throw in there. I wouldn't even know because I just got to give the back to her. She knows nothing about cigars, so she doesn't know which brand is expensive, which brand is not. And I think that's a good deal. That's what makes it fun, right? Because uh, my wife can either, either drive me to bankruptcy or she can drive the group to a very rich group. So... So if you guys like this idea, we can play with that. My friend actually said maybe you should weight the bags and give you guys the weight. But I don't think the weight really matters when it comes to how many cigars in there. Because if you had a couple Toros, it would be, it would be very heavy. So we're not going to do the weight. Uh, I will just do a standard envelope if you guys receive the envelope before you know where I send you the cigar it's gonna be the same envelope cigar is gonna be in there and I gotta package it up beforehand before I write the uh, name on it and just that that's how we gotta do it I mean I got enough cigars to give away that's no problem so uh, uh, you know anything to help raise money for the group because uh, there's so many things I want to make for the group and, and I, it costs money but my wife didn't want to go for me to go over a specific budget and I had to constantly replenish money into that budget so that's the way I kind of played that would be a good way to do it <laughs> shit ah, I just I just all of a sudden I was smoking and I thought why if my wife just took five David off and throw in there <laughs> I choked myself just thinking why if my wife throw five Davidoff in there because my wife does recognize Davidoff <laughs> that would be a problem I, I might have to hide my really expensive rare Davidoffs <laughs> but yeah I think it would be fun um, you know and then whatever you receive just show everybody that'll be fun I don't know where else I, I don't you know to be honest I don't know if other groups are doing events like this uh, I know some people does do raffles so I, I don't know what other people doing but I want to be doing you know things that is fun for us yeah just thinking about it is like, oh, what if hopefully she won't do that Give her rules and around names. No, I'm not gonna give her rules. That ruined the fun. That ruined the fun. I want to see. See if you guys, if one of you wins five really expensive cigars that total up to a hundred dollars, I'll be happy for you guys. It's not like I will. I wouldn't be happy about it. You know, I will be okay with that. Cause you know, it is what it is. Game is a game. Gotta go with that. Hey, Tristan. So yeah, I'll, I'll um, package it up. I'll show you guys the package 
and they allow the ticket to come in and that, that's how we gotta do it all right so I'm gonna package it and then take a picture of it you guys just you know it will just be a lucky bag so you guys can guess what it is I mean the cigar itself is not bad it's a lot of flavor uh, you, you get a lot of those um, the bitterness from the coffee and uh, uh, very minor of like wood and some dry taste to it and then you get co raw cocoa taste to it so it's an enjoyable cigar at the same time it's not as complex as I thought it would be I mean after all it is a blend of all Nicaraguan leaves so the, the taste will be limited but it's enjoyable right now but is it worth twenty dollars we'll find out twenty dollars and plus tax and shipping though. I mean it is a good cigar for people to collect though you know if you collect Padrones this is a long Padron not like the you know the typical tiny Padron like right now I already smoke one third and that's about, about the size of an average Padron so you know it's a long Padron if you like to celebrate twenty bucks is actually not that bad Uh, give your son more of what? <laughs> oh, the job? Okay. Yeah, man. I hope you get the job too. If you get the job, we should all celebrate. But hey, uh, I don't know how many members still haven't got the Magic Toast. Again, like I say, the Magic Toast is coming. I, we just have to wait for it. As soon as it comes, I'll ship it all out. Everybody's. I have so many things piled up to ship. I just want to ship it all together because I know I'm going to be in a, a post office for a long time. Long time. So yeah, that's that's uh that's the plan. <clears throat> uh so you guys have a good Saturday so far? I mean it's not too cold today over here in Massachusetts. I had a great time this morning hanging out with uh uh Daniel Cruz. Cruz Cruz, yeah. There's still some pepper. Once it goes my nose, it burns. So I can't retrohale this a lot because there's pepper in there for sure. So. Oh wow, it's snowing. No wonder you're sick. No wonder you're sick because it's snowing. I have to say, today I'm kind of bummed out. I'm very bummed out. You know why? Because I'll, I'll, I'll remember Mr. Mr. David William was at an event where they have the Saka Squad statue and uh, you know obviously he wasn't able to get one I guess so I can't I can't get one I wanted that Saka Squad uh, um, statue so bad you have no idea I want it so bad if I'm there, I'll just grab 20 cigars. I don't care. I, I would just buy it just so I can get that. Very bummed out. Uh, see the review cigar coming. Bola helped me out big time. Yes, I see a lot of those cigars are showing up. I'm looking forward for you guys to post those uh, reviews because I'm looking out. Know, this is all about experimenting and different palette and different people talk about different cigars and I think the review is gonna help us to practice tasting cigars <coughs> uh, uh, describing the cigar taste to other members and that other member can read those which is gotta be much much more honest than some of those websites that you see reviewing cigars because we're average people we just need plain English tell us it's good or not and what you taste the most for this average people we don't need a professional tell you that this tastes like this, this you know, it's not a palate that we gotta be able to taste. You know, give us the no uh the, the kindergarten version of what you what, what you'd feel like this cigar is. That would be the best way to to learn and practice new cigars and stuff like that. I'm 
I'm stuck inside all day. Two sick kids, but it's outside. New York, 45 degrees. Oh, wow. Why don't I just talk to Steve Saka? I gotta say, I'm not on the level of uh, Cigar Vixen yet. So nobody wants to talk to me for that. No one wants to talk to me. When I'm gonna do the uh, grab bag drawing, I could I could Instagram him, but I don't think he's gonna care. I I don't think he's gonna care. Uh, no, but I could, you know. What? Why don't I do that? And everybody from uh, uh, Shadow Smokes Legion helped me to kind of put words in him and just go, give Soy Sauce a guy, guy the uh, Soy Sauce assassin that statue. I don't even I don't even think Tim has it. I don't even think Tim has it. You know, if Tim says, hey, I got 20, I, I got a Saka Scratch statue here I can send to you. All you need to do is just buy 20 cigars from, uh, you know, the brand. And I'll be like, 20 cigars, done. Like that, done. Because I already, you know, the past two days, I already bought how many cigars in total. <laughs> so, 20 cigars, easy. Let's do it. But, you know, I really, I was bummed out. Just seeing it, I was like, oh, man. You know, this picture is almost evil. I gotta show it to you guys. This picture really got me. I was like, oh no, the beanie's there too. If you look closely, the beanie's there too, he showed me. This is the picture he showed me. I died. I was outside and I saw this picture and I died. I just drive very quickly home. I was like, ah. Uh, you know, but yeah, I feel like the short run has got to be this size. This, this size cigar has got to be great. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it is what it is. One day, one day, I'll find a way. Why don't he does? Why doesn't he run an event in Massachusetts? I would have gone. This cigar is toothy as hell, man. I'm gonna show you guys. It's very toothy. You see the the dots on it? You see that on the ash? You can see the dots on the ash. This is very toothy cigar, which is a good cigar. That just means they use really good cigars, uh, leaves, tobacco leaves. <laughs> hey, Jason, what's going on, man? So it's a good cigar so far. It's very enjoyable. Again, to me, it's usually the, the quality issue and the consistency issue for me. And uh, other than that, it's good cigar. There's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, the, uh, the designer asked me what I want in the bottom. And I told him, for now, I don't know yet, but for now, put. What did I tell him? I gotta give you guys the exact word that I, I, I give him. I say, put this line below for now until we can decide for something else. And I told him, put. Do, 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 Put in the shadows we unite for now. Just to hold the space to see how it looks like. So hopefully he will make that change and put it together. And I think the top will just have the same font as these logos. So the top logo font on plus the top. And then, you know, in the middle we'll, we'll, we'll do something about it. Or if that doesn't work, what we can do is have our models around the circle and just have this logo in the center for black and white. I'm gonna catch up on some message here. I see. I tried it. Uh, it's a great cigar. It is. San Carlos Miso is a, it's a pretty good cigar. It's just heavy. It's pretty heavy. 
Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> if I send you that Phoenix as well, would you smoke during life? Of course. Uh, so long as it doesn't kill me, because from the name it sounds kind of scary, but I will smoke it and during life, yes. I'll probably smoke it through the same day, why not? Uh, hang on, finally be able to make it tonight. Yes, Jason, what's going on, man? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It seems like a lot of people are, are, are dealing with some medical issues. I hope everybody gets better, though. Hey, Mitch, what's going on, man? So, yeah, right now I'm thinking if I got enough funding, I want to make probably 20 to 30 limited edition cigars and just give it to you guys because I, I have between 20 and 30 uh, members that always comes up here right now. So, that's about, about the amount that I want to get to. And obviously, design still going on, you guys know, and I, you know. Again, I'll keep you guys updated with that. <laughs> it gets sweeter now. Almost tastes like cherry. I don't know if you guys have those cherry flavor-ish thing before. It's like, this, it's not real cherry, but like cherry-ish flavor. It's kind of sweet at the end. It's actually not bad. It gets better uh, after halfway through. So, it's one of those uh, cigars that takes a little bit to pick up. The late hour is really, really good. I bought a couple of uh, the late hour limited edition 2019. I was told that nothing changed, but I'm gonna try to smoke that in one of the lives and tell you guys how it is because I really enjoy late night, uh, late hours. Late hours is a great cigar. Mitch. Mitch, I was actually talking about a few things that happened with the with the uh, you know what's going on right now. So um, if you want to catch up later, watch the replay of the first ten minute or so. We have uh, everything uh, kind of settled in with that. You know, I feel like making it look good is like pretty heavy on my shoulder. <laughs> it's like. I wanted to make it look good. I, I wanted to make something I can be satisfied with rather than just something looks like dumb, you know? I want to have something good. So it does give me a little bit of stress, but I want to make it good. And they say, you know, you gotta give a name. My friend was like, dude, you gotta give a name to the cigar. What are you gonna call it? I was like, oh, I, I thought I was just gonna call it Shadow Smokers or something like that. And then he goes, no, I think you should name your first cigar giveaways to call it the journey because it represents <clears throat> the journey the birth of shadow smokers legion the journey that we took to get to this point uh you know uh, where we have a, all, our own group our own you know place to to relax place to share so i think he's gonna call it journey what do you guys think is that two cliche of a name called a journey is it not cool enough you know what do you guys think <laughs> you know if, if you guys don't think journey is a good name go ahead and put some good other names in there so we can see whether or not we can uh, agree with a different name after birth <laughs> no, it's just gonna be uh, a, a release of you know limited time. So basically, now we hit, we hit 119. I think this you know it's a celebration of that and give to the member that's already in the show with us uh, and call it the journey. And as we get more people, the next time I make another batch, we gotta call it the triumph. The triumph. And uh, try so you went went from the journey to winning so triumph uh, as the next batch of uh, giveaways cigars to you guys so that's the idea and we, I, I had a, I had a small long, uh, long talk about that you know I want the cigar to be a memorial cigar you know the cigar is gonna taste like crap 
but it's something to have. That's that's why. Because <laughs> the cigar itself is just a symbolism. So if you smoke it, you could smoke it, but it's probably gonna taste pretty bad because it's a cheap cigar. So I can't promise the taste of the cigar because I, I I'm just gonna buy them and not even gonna taste them. It's 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 just a symbolism. It's the wrapping and all that together uh, as a almost like a trophy. So that uh, that's why it's got a call journey and for us to keep. You know, if you hit if you get the next one, try and then you have a series of two. And the third one, we haven't thought about that far yet because I don't even know if we'll reach that far ever. So uh, that that's that's the that's the plan right now. At least that's the plan right now. And as a triumph, it's probably got to be a Taurus size. It's big, you know, triumph. But Journey, it's going to be a regular Robusto, Maduro, bundle cigars of some sort, wrapped up, packaged up for us as a trophy. So that's what's going to happen. Unless another co cigar company just said, you know what? We got to carry a cigar and got to brand it and color and package it for you. Then, yeah, you can have different sizes. But, you know, we're not, we're not a cigar seller. So just for giveaway, just for memorial uh, symbolism. So... That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Do not expect that cigar is gonna taste good. You know, in fact, I probably should dip every single one of them in soy sauce just so that you don't smoke it. <laughs> it's gotta be some sort of celebration. Maybe I'll do once a year. That would be nice, right? If I do that once a year, first year will be Journey, second year will be Triumph, uh, and third year will be uh, hmm, I don't know, some some sort of single words that that describe things well. Yeah, it tastes like cherry. Coffee has kind of fade away. Such a taste like some sort of syrup, but it's not that sweet. It's just like it reminds me of some sort of syrup aftertaste. Yes, and this will only be available to the original members. Forty ring gauge one. Forty six gauge will be cool even at forty eight. Now that's a small one. Forty ring gauge is tiny. It's like cigarello. <laughs> no ninjas are uh, you're either ninja or you're not. <laughs> ninjas are either you're ninja or you're not. There is ju tuning, juning, and uh, you know, and, and there's three level of ninjas, but. Nobody really do that. They're just like a, a source of some sort of test claim. They, they, Ninja Bree has died so far that nobody used those terms anymore. The third one we'll call Aftermath. That's kind of cool too. Um, yeah, something I, 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 in that in that term. So like you know, once if I do once a year as a celebration. I think that would be pretty cool. I think that would pretty be pretty cool. So long as I had the funding, I would do it. So uh, I will definitely do that for you guys. You know, look forward to that. Look forward to that. It's gonna be fun. I I want to uh, eventually have a display of all those cigars. You know, that just really shows our journey towards whenever like you know reach that. So you know, three years later, maybe you have three cigars. Four years, we we'll have four cigars. Eventually, we we'll have ten cigars. And you know our kids will be smoking cigars at that time or, or something like that, and you have a line of cigars. Hey Nate, what's going on, man? Six by forty-eight, five and a half by forty-four, that range. No, it's not gonna be a Lancero, uh, because 
if you do it in Cyril, the, the wrapping paper is not gonna go nearly enough. It's just not enough surface to print anything on it or wrap anything over it to show. So it cannot be too thin. So it's just really holding that wrapping or packaging or whatever that is. I mean, if I thought about like if you guys are not gonna smoke it, I can just print on top of the cigar. That would be an idea too. If I just print, you know, Shadow Smokers Legion and on the end it says Journey, then yeah, but then you can you can never smoke that cigar. Oh, survival sounds pretty cool. Survival, uh, it, it, it's a good name. Maybe we'll use it, one of them. Adventure and journey are, are kind of relatively the same in terms of that perspective. Trifecta. Trifecta, yep. Mm. That's a good idea, Ben. That's a good idea. Use a use a three wrapper bubble pole. But that would be hard to find uh to be a relatively affordable one to do. In terms of the printing on a wrapper, I thought about that because you can buy those coding uh thing, you know how they, they laser code something? You can just scribe through the cigar or print around on top of the cigar. But that cigar will be unsmokable on that at that point. One of those uh, cigars, I might just use a Japanese name on it. Like Tensei or, or something cool, a Japanese term. Uh, uh, uh. I haven't thought about it yet, but it could be a cool Japanese term on it. And I'll print Japanese word on it, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, so lots of great ideas. Believe it or not, I have a pile of paper over there just writing down notes and ideas and stuff like that. And just wanted to make it cool because uh, it's my first time doing it I don't have any connection to be able to do that and you know I'm trying to find how I'm gonna do that no you don't want Ronin Ronin meaning Ronin means uh, a, a samurai that has last it's uh, has been fired and <laughs> no longer have a master is Ronin so you don't want you don't want to have Ronin Ronin is almost a bad name it, it's a, it's a, almost like a stigma Hey, Albert. Six by fifty four. Six by fifty four. Six by fifty four. Isn't six by fifty four like almost almost a Churchill? Seven by fifty four is a Churchill, so it's almost there. It's pretty big. Hmm. Anyways, forty eight minutes in. Let's draw. Let's do the numbers. I hope you guys have the numbers ready because I don't remember who has what number. And if I called it, you didn't say that was you, we gotta redraw. We have gotta, you know, today if you're not here when I draw your number, we gotta redraw. Uh, well, Cigar Mechanic said he's gonna help me to do that in the wrapping. I still have to think about how to do it. Well, the packaging, I still have to think about how to do it. So yeah, so let's do this. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's draw. You guys ready? Let me see what's the highest number we have. And we just had to end with that highest number. I think 69 was the highest. No, 72 is the highest. 72 is the highest. Keep scrolling down anything higher than 72. Let's see if this is oh, 83. 83 is in the highest. Keep going down. Let's see if there's any number higher than that. All right, 
<clears throat> you guys ready? Drawing time. See, I can't be too crazy of a size because uh, I am trying to find a bundle of cigars that's av available and affordable to be able to do that. So it couldn't be too crazy of a size that, you know, people don't make for bundles. But drawing time. It's drawing time! Oh, by the way, before drawing time, I want to thank those people who wrote me letters, okay? I... I do respond to your message and stuff like that, but when I receive some cigars, you guys give me the letters. I read it. I was, you know, I, it's very heartfelt. It's a, it's very uh, encouraging. So I want to thank for those people who actually wrote me letters, encouraging words on on the paper and whatever, or send me messages. I, I really appreciate those those kind words. I really wanted to say say thank you so much for writing those letters to me. Thank you so much for. Uh, I appreciate what I do and I appreciate your support at the same time I just want to make sure that you guys know that I appreciate all those things uh, I just want to say thank you guys very much on that so I just want to make sure I say that because uh, I thought about writing letters back for everybody but again I did not have the time to do that so I just want to do a summary of like you know I really appreciate those people who send the stuff for me to do giveaways those people who write me letters those people who send me kind words and messages I appreciate it alright <coughs> alright so now let's do it 83 hey Google give me a number between 1 and 83 okay 36 36 who have 36 Who has 36? Who has 36? 36 going once. 36 going twice. 36 going three times. Anybody? 36. I got the list. So 36 is not here. Redraw. Redraw. All right. Ready? Hey, Google. Give me another number between 1 and 83. Okay. 24. 24. Who's 24? Twenty-four. Anybody twenty-four here? Twenty-four. Jonathan Eggleston, are you here? Jonathan Eggleston is twenty-four. Is he here? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. Jonathan Augustine, are you here? It's not here. Looks like it's not here. 24 is not here. Oh, you are! Jonathan Agustin. There we go. That's the winner. See, Jonathan, why do you win so much? Jonathan, I feel like I feel like you win a lot of stuff for me whenever I run an event. You win, you win quite a bit of stuff for me. Like, I can remember your, your, your address like by now. <laughs> oh shit, he's here! <laughs> Congrats! Just in time, he just made it! <laughs> Chicken dinner! 
So yeah, we'll do this format in the future, right? If you don't show up, it's not yours. If you show up, it's yours. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, Jonathan, I will send this uh, Central Panza Cuban to you. To you. That's what you're gonna get. For this kind of drawing, I will probably do it once a month or so in the future. That way I don't, you know, I don't go too crazy on it. Yeah, I have your address. This thing burns so quickly, it's about an hour almost done. So, uh, I mean, it's to be expected. All the Padrones are quick smokes too, so. Yeah, so this kind of stuff, let's do it once a month. And that way, you know, I have enough cigars to give. Um, like, you know, I want to give good cigars out, obviously. So um, we'll do this kind of stuff once a month or so. You just have to make sure you click 33 every time before someone else does it. I know Albert has this thing about 69s. He had to choose 69. So, how do you know, you know your number? You clicked on the number. Uh, when I, I had a poll of 50 numbers at first, and then people had their own numbers when they typed it in too. So yeah. When I put the poll out, you make sure you gotta click the number and make sure to show up on the show, then you always have it. Those people who show up late, click the like first. <laughs> click, click the like. Your likes, give me, uh, give me the drive to continue to do this kind of stuff, right? So click the likes. So yeah, my thought is every first of the month, I'll put out the list to click and probably somewhere half, halfway through the month, we'll do the drawing. And then we're on the two weeks, uh, number again, another two weeks or so, drawing again. I think that's a, a good schedule for that. What do you guys think? I mean, if you always choose the same number, statistically, yeah, you gotta, you gotta eventually win, right? <laughs> 77 is better than 69 because you get A more. Yeah, that works, right? That works. Good. So that's a, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So great. I mean, stuff like that. Obviously, we, we, I try to do all the new ideas with you guys and, you know, proof of concept. If it works, we'll continue to do it. If it doesn't work, we'll stop doing it. This works all the time, I think. Uh, it, the only hard part was in the, in the first time we did it, I had to respond to like 100 messages. So uh, I think the poll way is easier. You just have to make sure everybody only click on it once. If you already see a face on it, don't click on it again. Uh, that would be the best way to do it. So we don't have to keep going. I, cause I couldn't tell who did it first. I can only tell that there's two people on it. So one people had to drop out of that number. And um, you know, I'm glad we can do it without a fight. That's that's the that's the best part. I do wanna uh, also thank everybody for being so nice in the group. I know there's few few times where the words kind of like you know when we type words, sometimes it has like a kind of different meaning when you read it different tones. You know, if you're in a good mood, any any words sounds kind. Uh, when you're in a bad mood, all the words sounds kind of mean, and but we never took it seriously. So it's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So you know, let's continue this uh, this group uh, in the right path to peaceful, uh, content-driven, you know, group. So that we can always have a fun time. You know, today was great. I went out, had a smoke. I saw all the people also share their smoke. In fact, um, I I saw uh, Lewis had smoked the same cigar as me this morning. It's great. Hey, Christopher. So, 
the group actually makes me happy. It, it makes me so happy I lose sleep over it. Uh, I just do want to also mention, uh, try not to send me a message at 5 in the morning or 3 in the morning because uh, I'll be doing something else. But it, 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 when I was doing something else, I tend to have a tendency, if my phone had a message, I tend to want to respond to it. So if you send me a message at three in the morning, I will try. I will try to message it. I, I'm just afraid to message it because once I start chatting, I don't stop, and I have hard time stopping because I'm just chatting, chatting. And I don't get things done. So uh, yeah, please refrain to send me a message at three a.m. Uh, because somebody else did. <laughs> I just want to mention that because last night someone sent me a message at three a.m. and five a.m. Uh, I do see them. I'm awake doing my work, reading through documents. Uh, I just. I had to resist myself from, from, from responding. So so if you see your time, let's say you know the worst is California, right? If you see your time is 12 o'clock, don't send any more message to me because I will try to respond to it. It's, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's actually not you, but Martin, I, I'm not worried about you because I know if I chat with you, you just fall asleep. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do see them and I... I, I have the tendency to try to respond to it. I'm, I'm not the person that doesn't like to leave any message unresponded to because I don't know how urgent it is the, for the question or for the uh, issue that you might have. So I tend to do that. Um, yeah, like right now, people are messaging me and I, I have the urgency to I'm, I'm trying to want to respond at the same time I'm chatting with you guys so I don't want to ruin that so yeah it's one of those things it, 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 I think it's like a, a work problem and you know I've been working with client a lot so whenever a client sends me a message I tend to respond right away and even as a friend I think that everything's urgent everything's important so hey what's going on man can I wave? Every time I see that, I, I, I thought it was a question. I want to answer, yeah, you can wave, but. <laughs> um, oh, another, mess, uh, another announcement to make is that if you go to the merch store right now, there's nothing in there because I want to make over that store a little bit more, try to make it more organized because when I go in there, my OCD drives me crazy. It's like, this, this doesn't look good. So I remove everything. I got to put it up there again. So you will see me put it, put it back up in a couple of days. Uh, why am I smoking today? I'm smoking the TAA Padron Limited Edition number 89 Maduro. Good cigar. It's worth $20. I think in, in terms of the Padron price, it's worth the $20. But uh, you might not be able to find it now because it's very limited. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. All right, Evan, I'll talk to you later. Mm. I also want to ask you guys this question. Yeah, that was the new box that I bought, so yeah. <laughs> um, I want to ask you guys this question because my wife asked me. My wife says, "You always, yeah, I just bought it. Uh, my wife asked me, because I always do shows, around, uh, the YouTube shows about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, the no, 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 YouTube show is about two hours, and uh, Facebook Live is about an hour, hour and a half. Do you guys think two hours is too long for you guys? I just want your opinion on it so that I can see whether or not uh, you guys feel it's too long of a show. Because uh, I, you know, I can chat forever, and I thought two hours is a good time for me to end. I just remind myself to end that. But if you guys think two hours is way too long, let me know because I know Tim usually do one hour. I can't get over this ashtray too. I, I come to check it every day and I was like, oh man, that ashtray made me want to just come down here and smoke. Did anybody else order this cigar tray, uh, this, uh, this kind of cigar tray for Mike Clark? I just wonder if anybody did. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people end up uh, messaging him. I don't know if anybody actually bought one.
the reason I think two hours is good is because the first hour allowed the people in the East Coast to join, and if they had to leave, they could. And the second hour allowed people in the West Coast to join, and if they had to leave, they could. That's why I do a two hour thing. On Wednesday nights, uh, Sherry, uh, you don't have to, like, the point is not to have to sit through the whole thing. If you had to leave, uh, you could, and then just come back and watch another hour of it. At the end, you could do that too. So, you know, the video, I never delete them. They always be here. Two hour flyby. Okay. So, yep, you guys are good with that. I'm good. Brian, have a good weekend, man. Have a good Sunday. So, yeah, two hours good. I like two hours. I, I can chat forever, really. Two hours, sometimes it will last through the whole cigar. Sometimes, like this cigar, after an hour, it, it's not going to last. But, you know, two hours is great for me. With MW, me as well. Yeah, go have a rest, Jason. Go have a rest. Um, you know, meds are kicking in. I totally understand. I understand everybody have their life to do. Uh, you know, they have to deal with their certain things. Some people can enjoy in the life sometimes. But I really enjoy the time to chat with you guys because it's like, it's my get away from work. Because I'm very busy with work and, and a lot of time I need somebody to talk to, right? And a lot of time I can talk to you guys about everything. Now, sure, I can talk to my wife about things, but... I feel like whenever I talk to my wife, I end up going to her direction. We'll be chatting about what she want to chat about. You know, she want to chat about, uh, right now she chat about goggles, like the swimming goggles. And I was like, I know nothing about swimming goggles. Just, you know, I thought just goggles. She's like, I tried to just buy these goggles. They just have this gap in the nose because Asian people have a really short nose bridge. So it has this hole in there. I was like, just go to a, uh, a diving store and you'll be able to find them. But, you know, we don't have those here, so I don't, I don't even know where to find them. Where you gotta find those really big diving goggles that won't touch your eyelash, and uh, you allow you to wear contact lenses and seals nose this part with people with really no low nose bridge. I can't find those. So when I chat with my wife, I tend to go her way. It just goes on tangent and just talk about her things. I was like, huh? Anybody watch that Kim Jones uh, new comedy series on Netflix? Did anybody watch that? I watched it yesterday. I can talk forever about Alien. I can talk forever about Alien. I'm a scientific guy. I'm a nerd, so I can talk about that any day. All right. Thanks for joining, Gordo. Talk to you later, man. Full face swim mask. I have, but don't don't you think if you go to a swimming pool that just looks weird? Like don't you think like I I I don't like to even wear goggles when I swim. I'm okay with my eyes touching some pee water. But you know, it's just like I That is already weird, right? This kinda weird, especially in a in a public small pool. This very weird. It's as if you tend to you you planning to poison the, the swimming pool or something. Project Blue Book series. But I watched him on first when we feast YouTube. Not for pool. I was thinking about snorkeling. No no no, we're talking about pool here. My wife wants one of those big ones. So that she can swim in the pool and not having not having to remove her whole entire makeup. You know, a woman needs to have makeup on. And you know, a lot of women don't have eyebrows if they don't do makeup. So she needs something like eh, like that. Not eh, like this. So <laughs> you're on that alien thing. Alien. You know, so far I haven't seen real aliens, so but do I think there's, you know, there's a lot of aliens and I mean, technically, I was alien not long ago. I was a legal alien uh, 
10 years ago, 20, 15 years ago. So I was an alien. The term aliens uh, is too wide. Old school big round goggles. No, she wants the one that covers the whole face. That looks like one of those like science uh, or like construction goggles. That's like that big. So it has to have a, uh, a complete seal that goes all around and even the nose part. Her, pro her problem is that her nose is too short, the, the bridge. So there's a, there's a hole there like that. Uh, so it goes in, the water will go in. Um, online, uh, I, you know, we looked at online, but there's no way to tell whether or not it has a good seal for the people with a small nose bridge. If you ever buy like Oakley glasses before, they have something called Asian Fit, where the nose bridge has an extra pad. I need some, I need some of those for for her, basically for swimming gear that has that Asian fit nose. <laughs> All the girl you dated never wear makeup. That's the biggest lie. <laughs> That's the biggest lie. Every girl wears some sort of makeup, and you gotta say no. But does that girl ever wear lipstick? Lipstick is considered as makeup. Wait, um, I didn't, I didn't understand that question. What do you think happens with your cons conscience when you pass? Like when you die? Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, have you ever went under uh, anesthesia before? And you wake up immediately? You might dream, but just imagine you sleep and never had a dream, and then you wake up the next day. That's in between, right? So your conscious doesn't remember anything, so it's literally nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's moving. Nothing can be thinking, so nothing's gonna happen. You literally don't know even what, know what happened. With that, there was a good conversation I had the other day, talking about why does people don't wake up when they're in a coma? Why do you think people don't wake up when they're in a coma? Have you ever thought about that? And the, the thought was that was that people's bodies try to protect you from the trauma when you wake up. So your mind is actually telling you not to wake up, right? Let's say if your body knew that you cannot control any part of your body, it throws you in coma and says, don't wake up, because when you wake up, you gotta go in a you gotta go in a serious trauma that you gotta faint again. So your body continues to stay in the, in the coma state. So it actually knows that you're in a coma. How cool is that? That's the that's the thought of what might happens when you're in a coma. <laughs> no 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 no. See, you gotta say no lipstick, no shadow. Lip balm is a makeup. It's just to keep your lip moist. That's a makeup. Everybody has some sort of makeup, okay? Some sort of makeup. Uh, the conditioner she might be using on her face, that's makeup. Uh, the, the after wash, the seven step that she might have to go through, that's a makeup. So yeah, when somebody's in the trauma and the coma, I wonder if you, they will wake up, just simply tell them that they're actually their body's fine. If nothing happens with our conscious, then what is the purpose of this great galaxy? The, the purpose of this great galaxy is so that we can smoke cigars. If you die, don't get to smoke cigar, you might as well don't have anything. <laughs> exactly, Jay. Great man, great man, I think about it. To reproduce, uh, to reproduce, I don't think it's our purpose because if you think to reproduce, human is the biggest parasite on earth. And for us to reproduce, then our, our purpose is to destroy our planet. <laughs> to, if you really think about it. Right? If you really think about it, if your purpose was to reproduce, then your purpose to, is to destroy the planet that you're on because, uh, 
obviously we'll use up all the resources at the end we just die uh, we to reproduce means you use more resources so your purpose is to destroy a planet she might be doing makeup when you can't see a lot of women actually do makeup and just wash it off believe it or not woman does that Woman will actually do makeup and wash it off just to look they look good so yeah that that's one of those things so in religion we believe there's uh, aftermath about life uh, after we die you know for Buddhism we believe that after we die we went to hell all right Asians for Buddhism there's heaven does not it's not for people period if you die, you go to hell, you get judged, you get judged a lot, and you get punished for the, uh, all those judgment, and then in the end, you wait for your turn to reincarnate. So, yeah, so that we, our purpose was to reconnect over, over, over again. And I know people is going to say, if we reincarnate, how, what about those people that born after us? There's a lot of people that were born after us, right? We human population just get more and more and more and more. So how does reincarnation work? How how does reincarnation work? Well, guess what? Human might get more and more and more, but more animal are dis are dis disappearing, right? They're dying, ants, whatever. Those things are dying, so they go to hell, get judged, reincarnate as humans. So technically, humans like the last path because we like you know we have so many of the us less of everything else so eventually they all reincarnate to human ah uh, so there's gotta be reincarnation because animal dies and they reincarnate to human so that's why human population is so wide animals are disappearing so with more human beings that means more people be making cigars well they make so much cigars our purpose is to smoke cigars so we can finish them off, so they don't go on waste. Except those really bad cigars. <sighs> Our purpose is to learn cigars and smoke cigars. I don't know. <sighs> that's a deep. That's a deep conversation. If you think about it. It's like our purpose. Like if you think it like that way, where our purpose is to destroy Earth, we're doing a good job in that in that perspective. All right, uh, I'll talk to you later, blue collar sticks. So yeah, um, let's talk about cigars. We went on a tangent. Let's go all the way back. How many people of you guys? Like to smoke Corojo cigars, Corojo wrappers, or Corojo cigars. Corojo. Because today I talked to a different rep today uh, in, in the lounge. And he said the Corojo nowadays is actually not real Corojo anymore. The Corojo nowadays is called the Corojo 99. And... Corojo 99 is a mixture, a crossbreed between the original Corojo and Habano. I didn't know about that. So they say that's why Corojo nowadays have a little spice to it, a little, a little bit of pepper in it, because it has obtained the quality of Habano, which is easy to grow. And, you know, and, and then they crossbreed so that, so it's like Habano with Corojo taste nowadays. That's the Corojo I'm getting. Did you guys know about that? I didn't know. I was like, what is, what the hell is Corojo 99? So they say Corojo is very uh, prone to disease. So nowadays, all the Corojo is just crossbreed with Habanos. So they're actually Habanos for the Corojo taste. And basically, the only few people that still use the original Corojo, the one that's disease prone, is the company that used to make a Camacho. It's the, it's the maker that used to make Camachos that end up selling the Camachos. They still make, they make a different brand today. I post a picture that has a big A on it. That's the brand for it. And, and apparently if they, they're the Corojo, it's the, the real deal. 
I didn't smoke that one, I smoked a different one, but it, it was okay. So yeah, that's what I learned today. So the Corojo is actually our hybrids nowadays because they are very disease prone and they're not easy to produce. So now, the only family that still make it is uh, what Martin said. The, uh, can't pronounce that word, family. Iroa family. And they still use the real Corojo. Uh, that's Hungarian? Uh, no, no. Uh, I think they... they I, I think they still do it in Hungary or, or uh, Dominican. So, hey, Skinner is here. What's going on, man? So, that's what I learned today. It was uh, very, very interesting to hear that Corojo. I mean, I'm not a big Corojo smoker, so I wouldn't know. But I do I do realize that there is some pepper taste in there. So, Honduran, exactly, Honduran. And uh, I'm basically, I wouldn't know what real Corojo will taste like because I don't even know what kind of Corojo I'm smoking. Especially nowadays, they're all crossbreeds, hybrids, so you can't really tell which ones is closer to the original taste, which ones more hybrid taste. But yeah, now that you know, if it's Corojo, it's hybrid, and nowadays Corojo has a little bit pepper taste because it's crossbreed with the Habanos. But if you get a real Corojo. For another brand, let me know how it tastes like. You know, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. We can go with that. Uh, next, uh, I want to talk about the group with different cigars. Like we have a lot of, you know, everybody have some crazy cigars and trading and all that stuff. Uh, we need to have a better way to basically sort out how to how to deal with those trades. So. Right now, I think it's okay if somebody had a good cigar and then you say, hey, can I trade with you? If you can either respond, I don't have any more of those, or PM me. That's okay. Uh, but how do we get more people to, to try different cigars? The question. We have the review train, which everybody go above and beyond. It's crazy. And, 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 and it's, it's lovely. It's great. But how else we can do an organized trade that will allow us to trade like have good have, have cigars that we never tried before have cigars we never tried before should we make a list of all the crazy cigars that people want to try and then we can just go around and say i have it i don't just pm each other kind of thing or um something close to that i want something to be organized so it's not messy all the time uh maybe we can have a, a tray fest tray fest sounds pretty cool tray fest uh, we can do a tray fest where uh, you know we'll list out cigars that are rare and then see who has it and then we'll do a tray fest something like that something fun how do we do it is the question you know too bad we're not in the same state this is what I heard some people was doing in Japan okay Japan is very easily accessed to uh, train and stuff like that. And Tokyo is, you know, a relatively small city with few towns. And every town you can literally take a train and get there. And I heard people are doing this. They're putting random cigars in lockers. In lockers. And then everybody will just list the number of lockers where they can find it, the password of the lockers. First, po first person will get there, open up the locker, gets the cigar. And, and they've been doing that, so like just blind. You don't know which one you want. Just choose a box, you go, and, and you can get a cigar there, and there'll be a random cigar. Uh, that I thought that was really cool. Uh, but unfortunately, we cannot do that here because we don't have lockers other than what airports. And I think they clean out every 24 hours, so you can't even do that. But it sounds pretty cool to be able to lock a cigar in a locker and just for you to find. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. That sounds pretty cool, isn't it? I, I actually thought that was pretty fun to, to you know, have a list of uh, things and uh, say, for example, Box 24. And I was like, I called Box 24, I'm going to go there tomorrow. And then somebody will say, okay, so Box 24 is mine. Uh, I will choose uh, uh, Box 30. 
So, you know, someone will go random into box 30, and then they'll find box 30 in another town and open up that box. Uh, and once you open up the locker box, there's a cigar in there. Not yet, not yet. Uh, it's resting right now. Uh, I do have the same cigar, but I want to make sure I smoke yours. So uh, I'm, I'm letting it rest for a few days. I probably do that one. Obviously, uh, it's got to for, for, for the group, so I'll be posting it for the group. It might be either a Facebook Live or just a simple re video post of some sort. So I'll be doing that soon. But yeah, uh, some sort of idea like that. I have a pretty good idea all the time. Just wanted to uh, to put it into test, but how do we do that? That's a, that's a, that's a question. No, but then that's the thing. If you know exactly which, you know, almost like a drug trade. You know, it's like here's your drug. Where's the money? The uh, well, the money is in the locker in this airport, in this uh, uh, locker box with this combination. It's almost like that. You know, I guess they 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 get the idea from the same thing. You know. It's just like, you want your drugs? It's in the locker, number 25, password 155, 22. You know, that kind of stuff? I, I think it sounds really cool. It's just that it's not doable for such a big country like America. Because you'll be like, this locker is in California. And I'll be like flying down to California just to open a locker. It turned out to be a bundle cigar. <laughs> you know? That wouldn't, that wouldn't work. So it won't work if it's, uh, you know, everybody's in the same town and you got enough people to do it, then that would be fun. Yeah, unfortunately we can't do it. Hey Tristan, I thought you were working, you just got home, right? Cool, man. So, yeah, something like that is not doable, but, you know, using that as a base, I'm pretty sure we can figure something out. I'm pretty sure we can figure something out. How do I do that? Locker box. Something so, something with the locker box. I don't know. Uh, it's got to be... It will be fun. But I wanted... You know, it wouldn't... I thought about what if I just make a huge locker behind me and they have numbers. But that wouldn't be fun because you guys won't get to find it. You know, finding it yourself and open it up is, is part of the game. So that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. You know, I don't travel inside America enough, but if I do, I will have, you know, hide a cigar in a locker, have somebody find it. That would be fun too. But then again, uh, I think American locker, they check 24 hours, every 24 hours because of the bombing and stuff. So uh, you, you, you can't even live there for long, longer than 24 hours. Fly, as soon as I fly out, somebody cleaned it out. Somebody's cleaned it out and smoked it. <laughs> so it wouldn't work. Uh, I definitely have to find some other, other stuff that would be similar. I just finished my um, the number eighty nine TAA Padron, so um, it's an enjoyable cigar. Twenty bucks is not too bad, so I would say this is worth it. This is good. This is good. Very toothy cigar though. Very toothy cigar. Uh, it does have a lot of pepper in the retro hill, so I can't do a lot of retro hill on it. I know every time I do it, it burns. So uh, it's not a easy retro hill cigar, I guess. Toothy, toothy, powerful cigar. Medium strength, ish. Not too bad. Twenty bucks, not bad at all. I will, you know, uh, I did buy more, so uh, I will buy again. <laughs> but again, it's the it's the construction of this leaf, and I think it's because the leaf is so oily, it doesn't sit flat on the surface, so it kind of has the bumps, and uh, and that's what I don't like. That's what I don't like. Presentation is number one. Presentation is number one. Oh, by the way, I am making, I'm doing one of the t-shirts that says, that says, uh, presentation, taste, and soy sauce on it. <laughs> presentation, taste, and soy sauce. Uh, yes, Joseph, I will send your five with, uh, with, when, when Magic, uh, Magic Toast came in. So I can send them together. Unless you need it right now, then I'll try to send it next week. Um, Texas. I 
don't have any client in Texas. Texas is such a big place. I don't even know. I wouldn't even know where to go in Texas. Houston. If I go to Texas, I'll be eating barbecue all day. No, see, that's the thing. Uh, when you ship a cigar to a random location and have it scrimble, random up, that's that still kill the fun of finding it. You know, uh, you you want to be able to find it. That's the fun fun part of it. Go like actually go to a place, make the effort, take a train, go to the place to find that locker, and then try the password and get it. Well, that that's the that's the best part of it. So, uh, I had to figure it out, but that's not doable here. But we can do something different. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't even know like you know what to do in Texas because uh, I don't have any client in Texas whatsoever. Uh, a member of the group could be the locker on given hunt. No, that wouldn't work either. You had to find you had to find you had to get the locker. You had to get to there. You had to go to the place. So yeah, it sounds very interesting and cool and everything, but it can't do it in a large country like this. Only if you want a small country, because you can go from one side of Japan to the other Japan within hours, so that was doable, but not doable uh, here. <laughs> not doable here. Maximum you can go Maine, <laughs> from from Boston to Maine. That's already six hours. So not something we can do. I think we meet at Hershey's part and see how long it takes for us to get kicked out of smoking cigar. I don't know. Do you really want to be like, you know, a massive news guy? Like a group of people claim them to be the soy sauce assassin uh, Shadow Smoke Legion has been arrested for smoking in a public place. Something like that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to see that on the news. When the police questioned what their name is, their name was Ninja 1, Ninja 2, Ninja 3, and Soy Sauce Assassin. They refuse to disclose any more information and they do not have lawyers. <laughs> that would be way too costly, Martin. Uh, that would be way too costly to do that. Rent a, rent a locker and have somebody go in there. And they might not even be able to go in there because those lockers are meant for like VIPs and stuff. Massive street credit, yeah. Massive street credit would we'll be like the number one worst cigar group ever that caused problems in public. Massive street credit, yeah. That would be massive street credit for sure. I don't know. I, I, you know, like I get, like I say, it's just an idea. I was chatting with a few friends, and then they told me about that. And I was like, that's not doable here. Uh, it would be, it would be pretty cool if we could do something more physical rather than just online. Because you know, every time I try to meet some of you guys. Uh, either local or whatever you guys don't have the time and that's that's you know I wanted to have everybody gather up so we can do something fun, but Everybody have a life and you know, we, we're, so, we're so far away from each other. That's 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 the problem. That's the problem And right now we don't have a lot of International members because I would I think it would be fun to to do a, a cross-country trade for international different blend cigars. That would be nice. That would be fun. Nope. Not gonna have chapters. No, it doesn't work. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. Chapter will not work. Chapter will not work. Because that's literally telling everybody to, to organize something that wasn't there. Chapter will not work. But yeah. I'm not gonna be doing chapters. We'll unite as one family. We don't need chapters. Uh, let me. Uh, you can bring that up again when we have ten thousand members across the world. Then we'll do chapters by country. <laughs> by country. But yeah. But right now we can. It doesn't do, doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. Yeah, so much sugar. Contains pro percent juice.
<laughs> if one goes down, we all go down. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Uh, and I thought about this, okay? Eventually, one day, I won't be able to do this anymore. I still want the group to go down as the same thing, you know, the same continuance. And someone has to take my place in the future. So that's got to be hard. Uh, I hope that that day doesn't come anytime soon. Uh, 10 years, 20 years maybe. But that day will come one time. One day. So it's us assassin will no longer be part of, uh, you know, Shadow Smokers Legion in 10, 20 years. Someone has to be the next Soy Sauce Assassin. Now that's gotta be the hard part. Hey, William. Uh, someone had to do what I do. Uh, somebody had to organize the fun stuff. I hope, uh, you know, my son will be able to do it. Uh, if I have one, or my daughter. That'll be so cool if my daughter is like, you know, the leader of the Shadow Smoke Legion is a female. Uh, I, th I, th I thought that would be really cool, but you know, I don't have kids yet, so that's gotta be a long time off when we figure it out. But yeah, I thought about that. I kinda got paranoid. What if? What if? You know, because in the future, I think this is, you know, our, our, our group will fill with your kids too, and someone had to take over in the future, so. We'll do an official. You know, at that time when when we all retire, we should we should do a, a group me and like a, like a large group, and then we can do a, like a dawn thing. You know, the next person who has to kiss my ring. <laughs> you know, the next the next leader of the Shadow Smoker Legion will kiss my ring. It's like there you go. And then we'll play the Godfather thing. You know, that'll be funny. When, when were you able to do this? You're going to live on. See, when I retire, when I retire, <laughs> when I retire, you never know. You never know. With that, with the way I'm living my life, I don't think I'm gonna live too long. You know. So we will do a gathering. We'll do a, a, a whole ceremony. You know, pass down the, the the cigar. You know, there you go. And then the you know the next person kiss the ring. I had to find a ring though. How cool would it be if we can make a chapter, uh, not chapter, group ring? How cool would it be to have a group ring to wear? That's super kick ass. That's super kick ass if we wear a ring that's, you know, has a logo of some sort in there. Tell me that wasn't cool. If you, you know, it's almost like a, a Super Bowl champion ring. We have a ring that's made just for the group. You wear it around. You know, and just make sure that if somebody give you trouble in a, in a, in a in a lounge, you punch them with that ring, and they have a mark <laughs> around their face. That would be crazy. I just you know I just thought about that too. That that would be crazy to have a ring that's so kick ass. Go out in there with a big ass ring, you know, for the group. Go out there, smoke a cigar with a big ring on here. Ah, that would be super cool. That would be super cool. Do we have any ring makers? Ring makers in the group? <laughs> that will make a ring? <laughs> oh, that would be super cool. Yeah, if we have a, like, you know, somebody that works with metals and stuff like that can make a group ring, that would be super ass awesome. That would kick ass. Oh man. Now that I think about it, super cool. Super, cause they're, they're not that expensive if we don't put like, you know, precious stones in there. And then I'm pretty sure Chris, the Shogun, can pro provide us with semi semi precious crystal what stones to put on the rings. That would look super awesome, cool. <laughs> well, I gotta be old and smoke cigars. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, we gotta be old and smoke cigars. But I'm not gonna be able to do all the events and stuff like that. I just gotta chill back and smoke. Let someone else handle all the good fun events. You know what I'm saying? Let someone else to. to Bear the burden of shouldering the weight of the group. You know? That's kick ass. Oh, man, the ring. Now I'm thinking about the ring. Ah, oh, that would be super sexy. Yeah, that that's much much down the road. Much down the road. Have a ring. That would be so cool. Damn it. Damn it. 
Ah. Yeah, you don't need like you know super expensive stones. You just need. Could it could even be like amber, you know? That they're like few dollar to put on there. Ah. You know, like red amber, it just looks so super kick ass. Man, now that's a good idea. I gotta put a pin on that. If I find someone, if we ever had a group member that actually makes those things, that'd be awesome. Yeah, right? So, yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, if somebody ever makes rings and stuff like that, that would be cool. And then that would be something that's, you know, whoever wants one, just go order one with their ring size and everything. Ah. <sighs> All right, the videos out there in the world, if you make rings, if you make metal rings, send me a message. Leave a comment below so that I can, we can, we can contact you to make rings. <laughs> yeah, we will, we will allow only to make for a certain amount. We'll license it to be only a certain amount so that, you know, all the OGs can wear rings. Oh man, that would be so super cool. That would be super cool. Hey Ron. You know, the first how many group of members will be the OG who had OG rings. And then the new members can wear the junior rings. Ah! Oh, man, that's a good idea. That's uh, too bad, man. Shoot. Ah. I knew I should have owned a jewelry store. Damn it. <laughs> I knew I should have made a jewelry store. Why didn't I invest in a jewelry store? <sighs> Ring that can be a cigar holder too. That could, you know, technically when you have those like a cube rings, they, they pull out, they sit on the, on the table straight. So you can actually rest a cigar on there. Yeah, why didn't I own a jewelry store? That would have been an awesome thing to make a ring that's cube, so it actually set flat like this, and then you can rest the cigar around top. It'll be like that big, right? It'll be small, like a, like a finger size. So it'll be that big. So you can actually rest the cigar on there. You'll be able to. You'll be able to like just like that. Oh man, that that's super cool. We don't have a jewelry store member, right? <sighs> Custom jewelry store, that'll be, oh man. Now I had to find one that I can invest in. I had to find one that I can invest in. <laughs> I always get super excited when it comes uh, when it comes to a good good idea, you know, whenever I thought of a good idea or somebody told me a good idea. I get super excited. I start thinking, how can I accomplish that? How can I get to that, you know, that point from point A to point B? How do I do that? And and that's usually, you know, I, why I get stuck. It's like, do I know somebody that makes those things? Damn, I don't. So not that, no. How do I, you know, if I know somebody that makes that, it will bring the cost down and that everybody can afford it. But, you know, when you don't, that's a problem. You know a jeweler? Well, you need to talk to the jeweler for us. I don't have a 3D printer. I, I actually really bad at drawing that 3D uh, ring. Somebody have a design ever, ever come out with a, you know, somebody who know how to do it, do it. Send it to me and we will go, we'll, we'll go with that idea. We'll try to make something happen. But I don't, I don't have anybody like this. I knew I missed something in my life. I missed the ring. That would be super kick ass. And I, I won't even put it in my ring. I put it in my thumb. How cool is that? I, will, I get a big one, just put it on my thumb. So, you know, when I go out, I can rotate the ring. Ah, oh, that's super kick ass. Man, man. Getting too excited, I'm thinking, and then just every, every, every sort of way I'm thinking of right now it doesn't work. But that's a good idea. Let's put, put a pin on that. You know, eventually we'll have someone that pop up and says, I'm a jeweler, uh, I work at a jewelry store. And I'll be like, you and I need to talk. Yeah, you know, we have the OG ring and we have the junior rings. 
All right, when the when the when someone is gonna pass from a, a junior to OG, they had to be you know uh, swear into OGs <laughs> by the OGs. How about a pen for starters? Pens are easy though, you're just printing out a pen. I mean, you mean like a solid design pens? Those really need to be machined, I don't know. Like when you gotta make something like this, like metal, uh, you, you wanna put the, eff the amount of effort on it. When you gotta put an effort on a pen, you might as well put an effort on the ring because the pen is basically the ring design with without the bottom, right? Does the owner of the jewelry store make custom jewelry? That's a problem. Can they melt metal into? We don't have to have like some serious metal, right? We just need some semi-precious bronze or something like that. I don't know. Man. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it gotta be big though. It gotta be a like Super Bowl size so you can rest the uh, cigar on top. <sighs> Either way, we'll have the patch just shrink down to a ring size and then it'll be stamped on top of the ring, right? Basically. So. Uh, once we have the design out, we can make pin, we can make whatever. So just need that design first. So yeah, it will be doable. It will definitely be doable. To have the ring. Yeah, just a surface. So it will be the logo. It will be a square with a circle logo in the middle. And yeah, and then you have the surface be square. So it will be an all square ring with a circle in the center. That sounds like a good idea. Damn it. See, this is why I like to talk to you guys about ideas because you guys were the one that basically uh, verify idea for me or, or elaborate an idea for me. You know, you guys are the group. You guys are what makes the group. You know, without you guys, the group wouldn't exist. So you guys are the embodiment of this group. You know, if, if you can break down these letters into cells, you guys were the cells of these letters. So. And I think brass is a good idea because brass will have patina on it and that actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> Go at Chris. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Brass is not expensive, it's easy to find and uh, you know, and you'll be like, you know, copper brass color. It will, you know, with some stone on it. Oh my god. That would look super sick. Hold on, I just got a message talking about my logo. Hold on one second. Who, who? Rocky Patel. Uh, who sent me messages? Personalized class signet ring with sim. It says simple logo. Um, who's this? Matt. Matt. It says simple logo. Our logo will not do. I think they just carve onto it. it ha our our logo will not be simple. If you have my laugh, I could make a cigar writing pins. Shadow Smoke Legion engraved on the side of the band. Awesome inside of the band. Oh, that would be hard too. But yeah, all those ideas, you know. It's gotta give it to dog members, make it go. You know, we could, but the person who's gonna be able to get it will have to afford gold. <laughs> gold rings are not cheap. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe 18 karat, not real like solid gold, but 18 karat maybe. I don't know. You'll be surprised because a lot of, a lot of uh, 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 nickel rings can coat over a layer of uh, 
either uh, either brass or, or, or copper, it will make it like gold. So uh, it just has to look that way. It doesn't have to be complete that way. But yes, it will be super cool. The OGs, I mean, you guys know that you are the OGs, so. Yeah, I think that low, lower the better because that ring is gonna be banged up because we gotta be wearing all the time rest cigars on top of it. It's gonna oxidize. But yeah, it would be something. Chris, we need to talk about that later on. Uh, when when you know when you find out what material and stuff we can do with it, and uh, obviously, okay, the design. You need to talk to the 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 owner whether or not he can put a design on it the way we want it. So. Uh. What if we make a logo with the samurai helmet smoking the horn of a samurai helmet so that it can be cut to the ring to hold the cigar? Cut out of the ring to hold the cigar. Now see, we don't want it to have too much of a design on it. It gets more complicated and hard to make and, and obviously cost too. You know, how much... Here's the thing. Since Chris can go ask about making the ring, how much do you think it will be justified for you guys to pay to buy the ring? How much will be the maximum amount that you're willing to pay for the ring? That will tell you how much <laughs> customization you can actually do. I remember a class ring back in the days was about $250 to $500. And that's a class ring without precious stones or anything. So uh, how, much you got, how much money are you guys willing to pay for a ring? I mean, obviously, it, it really depends. 300, wow. William, you're very generous. <laughs> $300 can buy some serious rings. So yeah, you'll be customized. You know, we, if we can find something to make it, sure, we should totally do it. I think it's pretty cool. And basically, we'll just submit an order big enough and what I can do is, uh, if we do a single submit of payment uh, together, it will be just you know, it'll be easy for them to make, and it'll be easy for them to send out and stuff like that too. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty cool. Let's put a pin on it. Of course, I had to wait for our, our simple design to come in first. Our simple design. Once the simple design comes in, then we can obviously get a better estimate of how we can do that so uh, that's one thing that we can do that 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 sounds super cool and I want to do that I want to I mean, you know you know maybe one day I'll just you know all right I'm not gonna go get a tattoo man I do not condone anybody to get this on that on any part of their body ever do not do that do not do that even though, if you do it, I'll send you a cigar. But don't do it. Don't do it, because that's a lifetime commitment. That's that's I do not condone that. And the only reason I'll send you a cigar is because I'll feel bad. <laughs> I'll feel bad that you have a tattoo that it's gotta be on you for life. So yeah, that that's what happened. That's what happened. So yeah, you know that's a great idea. I mean, that's blows my mind right now. I'm just think, keep thinking about it. To have a ring that you can carry on you all the time. And to be honest, I did thought about dog tag before. You know, it's a, a lot easier to to hammer a dog tag than anything else. But I don't wear a dog tag, so that 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 wouldn't work. So that's why I didn't think about it, to continue with that idea. But ring sounds like something I wear all the time when I go to a lounge. You know, you, sh you show up to the you show up to the lounge, you sit down, you go right next to the ashtray, and then you just remove your ring and stab on the table like that. How sexy is that? And then you just take out your cigar, put it on top, get your cutter, cut it, and just start smoking on it. That's super super cool, right? Isn't that super super cool? Can you imagine? You're just walking, you're walking the cigar shop like. And then you get your cutter and you're already. 
That's super cool. I think that's super cool. It's super badass. Well, a mole can cost between 200 to 300. That's true. And, and basically, that will be a one-time cost that's shared between everybody, right? Because that will be one mold that's needed to make, uh, say, 20 rings, 30 rings. So you divide it by, you know, $300 of mold divided by 30 ring, that's, what, $10 each person? Nothing at all, if you think about it. Nothing at all. And that mold can continue to make other rings in the future, so... You went to your first lounge today and had fine time. I always have fine time when I when I go meet people. I know a lot of people don't like to go to the lounge and everything, but you know, especially if you gotta go to the lounge, invite somebody from the group and meet them. That was the, that you know. Every time I meet somebody from the group, I get super excited. I, I have some fun conversation, just like you and uh, you guys and us right now. Like we're talking, it's, it's just that I can talk forever and ever. And the cigar tastes so much better with somebody else is smoking with you. I, I want a thumb ring. I want a big one. I want a thumb ring. Go out just with the thumb. You know. Either a thumb ring or a middle finger ring. So I can put it on middle finger. You know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it just sounds so badass right now when I think about it. it, it you know, in, in my mind, I imagine uh, that, you know, few of us, few of us just go to a lounge you know inside of our ring we'll probably have eng engravement of our name you know we just had to bring to a jewelry store to do it engrave our name and just sit down put a ring on the table you have four or five of those rings on the table that sounds super badass all right martin martin i'll, I'll talk to you later man yeah everybody should be nice and I actually talked about this. I was like, you know, the whole incident with Cigars Daily Nation, they saying that, you know, in a, it's just like a lounge, you know, somebody talks shit, you ignore them. No, if you go to an actual lounge and somebody talks shit about you, you walk over there and says, I heard you talk shit about me and I'm about to punch them in the face. So, you know, uh, uh, usually people on the lounge, mind their own business, they don't talk about each other across the, the chair or whatever. So, you know, when I hear, and when I read, comments like that say, hey, it's, you know, it's like a real lounge. Some people just gonna be ass. Some people just gonna be nice. They could just don't talk about us, right? That's one of the things. Now, in usual, in, in usual cases, if you're a lounge, people either, number one, mind their own business, or two, become a really good friend with yours because they have good some, some good conversation with you. So that's usually the case. So when you go to lounge, you usually gotta have fun because you can just sit down and have some conversation, join a conversation with something. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Pinky ring sounds like badass. I don't know, pinky. Yeah, some people wear a ring on the pinky. I, I, I just, I like to wear, whereas, you know, if I want to wear a ring, I want to wear something substantial in size, so. Oh, if you, if you get punched in the face with that big ass ring, it will leave a logo so they know who hit him. <laughs> Right? If I jump so hard, it's gonna make an imprint and it says, you know. So in, instead, of, instead of Shadow Smoking Legion here uh, on the ring, we should write assassinated. <laughs> Punch up says assassinated on the face. <laughs> right? It go to the head. I hear you talk shit about Shadow Smoke's Legion. Boom! Right here. Assassinated, right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'd be funny as hell. That would be like. A story you live to tell forever, All right? It will be a live. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's gonna. He's gonna charge you for assault. Uh, uh, you know, it's like you can't even defend yourself because like this guy's face is assassinated. You go to court, see his face and start laughing because you're just not gonna go away, <laughs> right? It's like you can't even deny you hit him because it's right there on the face, or or right here, or, or on the eyes, right here. Assassinated, well, yeah, like SSL was here. <laughs> Boom. Ah, and then you just see it right here. That, that, that would be kind of funny. I think that would be kind of funny. Oh, man. I can imagine. I go to court. Your Honor, I did hit him. I can't deny that because it's on his face. <laughs> and I think even the judge will probably laugh because he just probably say some stupid funny words on it. 
That's why I said the ring has to be substantial in size so that it prints out the front uh, words on the face when you punch them in the face. You just start laughing. Just like, you know, you don't want to get punched by this hand. And especially if we had a group meeting and end up to be a group fight, and the whole face will be assassinated, 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 assassinated because it'll be the same ring, you know, print on the face all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be super funny. That'll be super funny. Somebody shows up with like prints of assassinated with a with a circle on it everywhere. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That that sounds pretty funny. I mean, that's a good idea. Only if you you know if we can make it come to fruition, that'll be great. You know, either way, I, all the joke aside, I I do want to make that happen. That'll be funny. That'll be super cool to for us to all take a picture of the ring on the hands and ah and post it on, on instagram and stuff like that that would be super cool super cool yeah so that that's that anyways two hours uh we all have you know rest and all that stuff to do i'll send out a cigar sometime next week and, and stuff like that everybody have a good night have a good sunday uh you know i'll see you guys next week uh I might be kind of busy next week. If you don't hear from me, it's because I'm working. But other than that, you know, we all have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. And I want to talk shit a bit. Normally out of place. And blah, 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 blah. Now I'm just playing with grown ups. Obviously, yeah. That's definitely true. So, yeah. Uh, have a good night, guys. Be saucy. Be cool. Thank you for you guys for joining me. And also. Thank you guys so much for the content that's in the group. I love it. So I'll see you guys inside the group on Facebook. And I'll talk to you guys later. Stay saucy, people. Have a great night, guys.